lecture i'm going to discuss about how to connect microsoft sql server with azure data studio so let's open their azure data studio so the first is you need to click on this plus and then you can uh, get this all information to fill so first your server name so server name you can give for this place your pc name or simply write the local host so here authentication tab you can connect with windows authentication or sql server so sql server you need to remember the username and the password so if i go on this ssms sql server management studio so from this place you can get here the information about the user so here you can see localhost server name or sql server authentication login with sa and giving the password okay after that click on this connect so here you need to give the username and password database if you want then you can give so here if i go on this ssms here you can see this is the database that's present there so adam has this list of tables so let's give him adam if you want then encryption method here or you can give if i click on this then you can see here mandatory and this you need to make that true trusted service connection make that true and after filling this all data let's click on this connect so this is successfully connected with the adam and here you can see this list of tables that's present and after that when i right click here you can see this design edit data select top uh, script as so let's click on this design so this is currently loading the designer so this is taking times so here you can see this is the design create table and if i scroll down here you can see this is create first time last time and whatever the process to create the tables that's come there and here you can see primary key foreign keys check constraint index and general now the next is let's click on this plus once again and this time I'm going to use here windows authentication let's give your local host once again and if you want then you can give the so here connection tab in your trusted connection and if you want then you can give the database or debit and uh, no need to change window authentication no need to give the username and password when i click on this connect enable so this is connected here this is connected or this place so here you can see this all data local host and here database and since uh, i didn't specify any database so here you can see this all database that's taken there okay and here you can see this place this is here local host default database and integration integrated and this is connected with the system database as well as user database so this is user database that's come there and this is system and this is here this all or one table that's present there so this is how we can connect microsoft sql server to azure data studio so I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now this video is over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.